A third of Generation Z would apparently like the monarchy to be abolished. Now, it's not a huge surprise when you think of this finding, considering that a lot of younger generations appear to have been fed a lot of anti-British, anti-monarchy, anti-British history agenda over the years by the education system and by the mainstream media. So it's not a huge surprise to find that a third of them apparently want the monarchy gone altogether. It's quite fashionable today, isn't it, to think the monarchy is outdated. It's fashionable to hate on British history. It's fashionable to hate on Britain itself. That's all the rage today. Uh, the problem is that what this is actually doing is pushing forward an agenda which is incredibly damaging to Britain. It's all linked together, it's all tied together and we all know it. Now, what are the reasons that they think like this? Well, Meghan Markle probably has something to do with it. I mean, she has done her absolute best to trash the monarchy over the past year or so, you know, with aided and abetted by the media, by the likes of Netflix. You know, Netflix is a very uh, popular producer of shows and just the entire situation which is going on in this country today is designed specifically to target anything which is British, anything that represents Britain, and the monarchy being the one, the oldest institution in the country that represents so much of our history and our culture, it's going to come under the, the absolute worst attack. Now, King Charles, he, he doesn't quite command the same respect and adoration as the late Queen did. I feel that he is trying to appease the woke movement to some degree, for example, saying, yes, let's investigate the royal family's ties to slavery. It's ridiculous, frankly. There should be no appeasing of this movement, which is doing its utmost best to, to bring down the monarchy and trash the country. It's, it's, it's not right. Now, there obviously needs to be massive changes in the education system and in the media. You know, at the end of the day, 18 to 24 year old, you know, you're, you're technically an adult. You should be going out there and doing your own research and not just taking in everything that you're taught, at least question what you're being taught. Uh, but of course, the culprits are the education system and the media, which has pushed this agenda so hard over the last few years that it's slowly infiltrating brains, it's slowly infiltrating those who are the most impressionable, the most impressionable minds, the ones that are easiest to brainwash. I mean, is there anyone out there who still thinks exactly the same as you did when you were, you know, a teenager in early 20s? Do you still have the same political views? I would encourage the 18 to 24 year olds to actually think outside the box and ask themselves that question. Do you not think that it's a possibility that you might think differently about things, about your country, about the things you've been taught when you get older? Because it's something that happens to pretty much everyone. It is the rare person who has the exact same views they had when they were a teenager or when they're in their early 20s. And also bear in mind that if you're being taught something so powerfully in the media, in the education system, then there is going to be an agenda behind it. Now I'd say to them, do your own research. Don't automatically just believe whatever your superiors are telling you. And actually go out there and, and, and do some research for yourself. I mean, you know, I totally support the monarchy. It is, it, I always have. And it's a very important part of Britain, British history, Commonwealth, for the world itself, the monarchy is absolutely crucial. This is what a lot of people don't seem to realise, the ones who are saying they want to call for the abolition of the monarchy. They don't realise how important it is in terms of global connections, uh, alliances and, and keeping things stable. It's really important. So sad news, of course, not a major surprise, but something that definitely needs to be tackled need to go after the education system. Politicians in this country need to do something because that is where the poison lies. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.